At para pag-usapan pa natin ang namas kaigi, ang Green Finals at key matchup sa pagitan ng mga players ng Dela Stahl, Green Archers at ng Ateneo Blue Eagles, makakasama natin ang basketball analyst na si Christian Luanz. And Chris, welcome back to The Score. Okay, everybody's excited to see this this showdown. Um, going back to the start of the season, maybe some expected it to be a LaSalle FEU. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, bilog ang bola. Uh, yeah. Hindi madaling makalusod sa Final Four. Mm -hmm. uh, may mga umangat na teams, may bumaba na teams. But, so looking at the two teams now first, let's, let's look at them individually before the matchups. Uh, you always want to, to uh, peak at the right time. Di ba? May mm -hmm. sinasabing ganun. Kung yun ang usapan, where are the two teams? Where's Ateneo and where's Asal right now? Well, if you look at the two teams, Ateneo obviously has the has the edge. Okay. They are basically um, an eight and two mm -hmm. in the last ten, ten games, Tama, losing yeah. their first the first game in their second round, mm -hmm. and then uh, seven it's straight it's wins, seven straight, seven yeah. straight oh. wins, and then the lost the first game to FEU, mm -hmm. and I guess that's how big yung yung game nila against. Mm -hmm. Lasal in that second round, yeah. and you know, Coach Tab even commented on this that how it was a confidence booster. Mm -hmm. uh, but more than that, I believe that game really increased in belief nila mm -hmm. you know, all throughout the season. Okay, I I, th I think before the season or maybe in between the season before that second round game, there were some doubts within themselves. Obviously, they're not gonna say it out, out loud. Yeah. yeah, they're a young with team. The system and Obviously, all. a lot of promise. <coughs> But after that second round game, it was very evident, especially the game, the next games after La Salle with FEU mm -hmm. and Adamson. Because let's face it, if they didn't get that um, twice to beat advantage, I think it's clear this, this could have been yeah. FEU, especially correct. of how right. things turned out but position wise. Correct, correct. Yeah. So, malaking baga yon, and that's why we're here. Uh, with La Salle, um, not a, not a good time for them to, to play subpar, but the good thing mm. about basketball is that you know every day is a new day, yep. uh, and you know if you read the articles about Coach Ayo and Coach Louis Gonzalez of what they've been doing mm -hmm. is bringing that parang hard work back. Okay. Because para sa akin, you know, as as talented as deep as they are, you know, the, their main ingredient in that 12 straight wins. Be before, before that loss to Ateneo in the second round was really their hard work. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's really your trademark no mayhem nila. Exactly. And you know, with talent and hard work, with two combinations, that's why they were blowing out teams. So, but you know, again, until the struggles came. Yeah, in. until the they struggles were still came winning, in. Pero sabi ng coach Aldin, ugly, ugly wins. Nisha yeah. natutuwa. Lalang Adams on their last yeah, game. Yeah, their last game. Four. Yeah. Okay, let's break it down a bit. Let's look at the matchups. Start with the point guards. Uh, you're gonna have uh, the. Well, a lot of people are saying overachieving point guards of Ateneo. Sila mm -hmm. Asistio, sila Nieto, na hindi siguro nila asahan na marami na sila yung magiging star guards of Ateneo because of mm -hmm. course, the guys who should have been here are gone. <laughs> sila Kani and Pingoy, di ba? Yeah. Um, and uh, going up against experienced guards like Thomas Torres and Kim Montalbo on the other side, even a really good rookie, mm -hmm. uh, si Aljun Malesha. Malesha. Kano, kamo sa yung guard matchup for you? Well, I, I beg to disagree, no? Because, you know, I, I talking about, for example, Matt Nieto, mm -hmm. I've been so impressed with this kid ever since high school. High school he, he's just a solid player. He, he's very coachable. Mm -hmm. uh, you tell him what to do, he'll do, he'll it. do it. He yeah. runs the team. He runs the offense well. He can shoot mm -hmm. from the outside. He plays within the system. You know, In terms of talent, you would say um, LaSalle would have the upper hand and mm -hmm. experience with, as you mentioned, Torres and Melesho and maybe Richie Rivera if he right. gets some minutes on mm -hmm. the floor. But I think that's going to be key, you know, yung backcourt, especially for La Salle. Yeah. Because we all know that, you know, Jerome's going to show up just like last game. He took over in the fourth, 11 mm -hmm. of his 25 or 27. Right, yeah. Ben Mbala, same numbers for sure. Yep. But it's going to be the others. Who's going to be that third scorer, that solid scorer, that, you know, when Ben Mbala gets double, who's going to make the outside shot. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at, you know, Aljun Melesho and... Even, even even Torres because he's to me Torres he's had a quiet outstanding year for yeah, them. Yeah, under the radar. Uh, over, he's been overlooked. Yeah. And Bala and Jeron, yeah. He's been overlooked, especially <coughs> on the defensive agree, end. Agree, agree. <coughs> interesting. Okay, so what about the wings? Um, it's going to be interesting for Ateneo. They've done so well with their three-point shooting. I think they're number three in the league's so three-point mm -hmm. shooting. Uh, that's going to need to click, I guess, uh, in the Mayhem defense, aside mm -hmm. from them just bringing the ball down without yeah. losing it, mm -hmm. uh, compared to the wings of, of, of uh, La Salle, who we know as well, kapag na double team si Jeron, na double yeah. team si Ben, mm -hmm. they're going to have to hit their shot. So, well, see, let's see, may edge. Well, they play differently. La Salle, yun nga, 
the luxury they have is that they have two guys mm -hmm. who you automatically have to double. Right. And we saw this in the series against F, um, against Adamson and, and all yeah. throughout the season. Correct. So knocking down shots, open shots, mm -hmm. is going to be key for LaSalle. For Ateneo, they don't have that luxury. Mm -hmm. But what you like about Ateneo is their aggressiveness uh, in that dribble drive offense right. to drive the basketball. They mm -hmm. don't have pure shooters. Mm -hmm. Uh, but they have capable shooters Correct. and these are guys Adrian Wong is a very capable shooter mm -hmm. their best shooter to me is Asistio. Yeah, uh, he had that stretch uh, Early in the first round and he was leading the leading scorer coming off and he screen. was big in that LaSalle game He was big also in the in the, he's yeah. the, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if it ends up one or two possessions and then Asistio would be like the Henry <laughs> the Henry Ong in a way, oh, like, like back that? in the day. Yeah, the Henry yeah. back in the day, he would have the big shot behind yeah, the arc yeah. because he's a he's a gutsy guy. He's Correct. not afraid Correct. of the moment. Na, yeah. yeah. Okay, big man. Ito maganda laban talaga. They they solved the puzzle or apparently somehow uh, in the second round when they beat Lasal and nabugbog quote unquote si Ben Mbala with the various bigs that Coach Sab threw at him from Isaac Go mm -hmm. to uh, I think G Boy was still healthy and he was injured in Babylonia and even Ike. Crucial ba ang pagka-injury kay G-Boy? He's out with an ACL, so that's one big man out of the rotation. Mm -hmm. uh, how will they still gang up again on Ben Mbala? And can they? Or will Ben just you know, be fiercer? Sabi nga niya, gusto niyong gumante, wish granted para sa kanya. Well, it's a big loss, especially in uh, Coach Tab's rotation. Mm -hmm. no? uh, I guess very evident yung game against, uh, two games against FEU. It shortens your rotation. At the same time, against La Salle, um, one thing, uh, if you notice, uh, TJ against uh, Lasal in the second round, they maximize their their, their fouls with mm -hmm. their bigs, and um, we're looking if it comes to a point where guys like Ike or Isaac Go or the other bigs, he's gonna dig deep to maybe mm -hmm. a porter just to have that extra five right, minutes right. just to oh, give up maybe two or three a few fouls, a few correct, fouls. Correct, yeah, you know because. I'd rather see, and I've said it time and time again during the games, I'd rather see Ben Mbala um, in the free throw line. That's if you have a 50-50 chance, although he's a good shooter, <laughs> is, instead yeah. of you throwing, know, down in, throw, throwing it down and you know getting the crowd the momentum, in, involved the crowd. and starting in momentum. Tama, tama. Okay. Um, here's the thing. It's, it's rare that you see an Ateneo Sal matchup na both teams uh, don't have superstars. Clearly, mm -hmm. Lasala superstars. Mm -hmm. Ben, we've been discussing. Jeron Tang, obviously, is a superstar mm -hmm. on this team. He's just the King Archer, graduating year. But on the other side, parang kung kung super, wala. I don't know who the. Can you? Would you say that there's superstar in Ateneo, or do they need one? Because Coach yeah. Tab's been happy with this system, balancing yeah. everything. So we look at Jeron and the other side. Okay, how is this? How is this going to play out? How are they going to defend Jeron, and mm -hmm. how are they going to challenge on the other side as well? Well, to answer your first question. I think the star for or the star in the making or under the radar is clearly 30 Ravenna. Okay. Every time he's inside, you know, they run through him. And he does a lot of things. He does he a lot of things scoring, for yeah. them, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think he's gonna exceed his brother Kiefer, mm -hmm. but I think he can level with him in okay. a way, maybe after a year or two. Mm -hmm. uh, think about it, he, he's bigger, he's stronger. More athletic. He's more athletic. Yeah. And you know, he just gets monster rebounds. You know, and with um, with La Salle, mm -hmm. uh, with, 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 with the matchup with Jeron Teng and Mbala, uh, the good thing about um, Ateneo is that they do it collectively mm -hmm. uh, against FAU. We saw that Raymar Jose, 20 rebounds in that first game, in yeah. that win, you know, was limited in points and in rebounds. And obviously, a lot has to do with Isaac Go stepping right. up. So it's going to take a collective effort. Times two pa, mm -mm. kalaban itong sure, powerhouse sure. na Saltine. Okay, last but not the least, we can't not talk about the coaching. You've got, technically, two rookie coaches <laughs> in the UAB, <laughs> di ba? <laughs> Go figure. Coach Aldin Ayo, he's been very successful with the Mayhem defense. Although at times, he said kahit na he's had some wins, hindi siya masaya sa nagagawa nilang effort intensity Tama. and through Mayhem. Mm. On the flip side, you had Coach Tab, who's had, you know, pataas ang pataas. I don't know what you want to call it, a very disciplined and, and you know, getting everybody to buy in the system how do the coaches match up in this best of three hindi na siya one game but it's a best of three well i don't think um with, with coach tab uh, it's obvious na he's i've always said it's a player's game okay uh, because obviously the, the players are the one you know performing and playing but i think ateneo in this year is the exception mm -hmm. obviously i mean the influence of coach tab and how he changed your culture and team and the mindset and so quickly no? so quickly yeah. for it for them not only to buy in 
but really to put everything all out on the court um, you gotta give it to Coach Sam. It, it, this is all him. Mm -mm. Um, with Coach Ayo, I don't think he gets a lot of credit. Okay. Of uh, I mean, he's thirteen and one. I mean, <laughs> come on! I mean, twelve straight wins. Correct. Twelve, maybe nine or eight. Eight out of uh, of the twelve mm -hmm. uh, blowout games, mm -mm. and then he still gets criticized, right? Correct. And for me, I, I guess the biggest challenge for him when you handle a talented and experienced team mm -hmm. with a guy like maybe like Jeron Teng or whoever there it, it, you you deal with all kinds of stuff right. uh, one is maybe the egos mm -hmm. maybe uh, and everything you know that the culture of, of that school I, I thought he handled it well I think he's still the voice in that locker mm -hmm. room although but you think that it's just a sideline mukhang parang a man of few words mm -hmm. pero feeling ko sa locker room marami sinasabi yun. <laughs> so so <laughs> but you know the, the, these coaches really I don't think anyone has an edge mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it'll boil down to maybe the last or the last one or the last two possessions in a shot in a made or a mi miss shot if it becomes a close game kung hindi tambak nila sa last they did in round one which is what they always like yeah. to do they yeah. have to do that well we we'll see konting hintay na lang isang tulog na lang mga kaibigan at bakbakan na ng game one ng finals Chris maraming salamat, salamat thank you thank you, thank you. Keep watching The Score for the latest sports updates and don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.